Hi, my name is Ray Andrade, welcoming you to the Arizona Public Health Training Center's Continuing Workforce Quality Improvement Series. Today, we will be discussing affinity diagrams. An affinity diagram is a graphic organizer that aids in categorizing information given to a facilitator by a group in response to a question or situation where many descriptions or ideas are possible. Affinity diagrams are helpful in that they classify information based on like characteristics and allow for a comprehensive illustration for the group. One of the benefits of the affinity diagram is that it sparks creativity and empowers the group as owners in building the illustration that will move the discussion forward. An affinity diagram is the collective analysis of a team, which is created by the team members themselves. When beginning an affinity diagram illustration, the facilitator should start by presenting the issue as a phrase, sentence, or question. The group then brainstorms ideas that could be used as categories or attributes. The facilitator should then sort the ideas into related groups. The header or title card for each grouping can be predetermined, may be picked from the ideas themselves, or may be created using group consensus. Let's take a look at some examples. One of the ways affinity diagrams have been utilized by the Arizona Public Health Training Center is during our Parent Ambassador Program. The Parent Ambassador Program instructs parents on how to become advocates for their children's health and wellness at school. Parents build an action plan focusing on a wellness area of concern as it relates to school and district policy. Completed action plans are monitored subsequent to the trainings. The Parent Ambassador Program is built around five units. Unit 5 outlines parent advocacy. During Unit 5, an affinity diagram is utilized as part of a brainstorming activity where the group begins to consider upon which issue or topic they will focus in building their action plan. Before choosing a wellness topic for their action plan, the group brainstormed ideas and created this example of an affinity diagram. This example has a topic of discussion, a specific title, and predetermined headers ranging from home and family to concerns at the national level. Once the ideas were gathered, they were grouped according to the predetermined headers. On this side of the affinity diagram, the state and federal headers include gun control, funding for education, and laws that protect children. However, the ideas that were grouped under the school and community yielded the most actionable concerns, including things like structured recess and nutrition programs in schools. The most popular being creating an anti-bullying program. The use of this strategy was extremely beneficial for the parents in organizing the group's thoughts and allowing for a structured process for choosing a topic for their action plan. This example took one hour to complete. Your affinity diagram exercise may take more or less time depending on the size of your group and the topic. That was a look at affinity diagrams. Visit our website to see what the Arizona Public Health Training Center is doing to ensure a well-prepared public health workforce. Please contact us with any questions or suggestions you may have. Until next time.